In a recent video, we compared different over-the-counter rust removal chemicals, and Evaporust did really well along with Crud Cutter. Since then, I've had a lot of requests to test electrolysis, a process of using electricity to remove rust instead of using chemicals. So today we're gonna to compare Evaporust against electrolysis and see which method is the best. This rusty wrench and this lug nut are both seized. We're gonna see if electrolysis can remove all the rust and free both of them up. We wanna see how much weight is removed from this wrench during the electrolysis process. It weighs 448 grams. We'll weigh it again after the electrolysis to see how much weight was removed. We're also gonna pair electrolysis to Evaporust to see which one is more effective. Both lug nuts weigh the same, so after the test, we'll weigh them again to see which process worked the best. We're not gonna use table salt since table salt could put off some chlorine gas, but we are gonna use some sodium carbonate, which will allow the water to conduct electricity. This is gonna be our sacrificial steel. The last thing we need is a battery charger, so we are all set for the electrolysis process to begin. We only need about a half a cup per five gallons of water. I'm gonna go ahead and use the entire box of sodium carbonate. A little extra won't hurt. Now this water is warm, so once I dump this in there, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up real good, and then I'll go ahead and dump it inside the aquarium. I went and wrapped wire around both the wrench as well as the wheel stud lug. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in the water now and set it up to be connected to the battery charger. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the water that has the sodium carbonate mixed into it. This will definitely make the water a little cloudy. So for the electrolysis process, you wanna put the positive on the sacrificial steel and the negative on the steel that you're trying to remove rust from. So let's go ahead and plug this in and watch the process begin. As you can see, there are some bubbles. That is hydrogen gas. Evaporust does not have any sort of acid. It's a very safe process for metal parts. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the Evaporust into this little container and then allow the process to begin. So we're gonna come back in 24 hours and see what kind of progress has been made. It's been right at 24 hours. You can see there's a lot of action taking place inside this aquarium. You can see the oxygen bubbles coming off this rusted bolt as well as this wrench. You can also see the hydrogen bubbles coming off the steel. And you can also see a lot of rust has formed on this wire. The evaporus is in this container. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wheel stud lug out of this container and put it next to the one that's experiencing the electrolysis to see which one looks better. This is the bolt nut that had the evaporust on it, and this is the electrolysis. It's interesting to compare the two. The electrolysis bolt nut are a lot darker in color than the bolt that had the evaporust. Both bolts seem to have an equal amount of loose rust on them. The wrench looks a lot better than it did when we started. It still has a lot of rust though. This thing is still seized as well. I cannot get the adjustable wrench to move at all, so this is gonna need a lot more exposure to the electrolysis process. We're gonna come back in 24 hours and see how everything is doing. It's been right at 48 hours, so we're gonna take the wrench as well as the bolt out and see what they look like. Evaporust has more of a rust color appearance than the electrolysis. As far as the amount of rust, they look very similar. The bolt soaking in Evaporust seems to have a lot looser rust on it than the bolt that's gone through electrolysis. The nuts are still seized on both bolts. The electrolysis process is working really well on the wrench. As you can see, there's a lot less rust on this wrench than when we first started. The wrench is still seized, but I think with the next 24 to 40 hours, we'll be able to get this to move freely. It's been right at 72 hours since we began the test, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt and the wrench to see how they look. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt that's in the Evaporust. As you can see, the Evaporust level has decreased. It's evaporating off, so I'll end up adding a little bit more Evaporust for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the nut off of each one of these bolts to see if one of these products has done a better job. Both Evaporus and Electrolysis have done a great job, but the nut is still frozen on each bolt. So it's been right at 72 hours with the wrench as well, and you can see it's looking a lot better. It's still frozen, though I can't get this to turn by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush to try to scrape some of this rust off, and then we will put this back in the mix for another 24 hours.
I'm gonna use a small copper brush to scrub down the nuts and bolts as well as the wrench. And all I can say is, wow, this really looks good. I'm really impressed with both Evaporust as well as with the electrolysis process. Both of these processes seem to be highly effective at removing rust. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the tank for 24 more hours. This is our sacrificial piece of steel that we're using in the electrolysis process, and look at all that rust. Wow, this thing has really accumulated a lot of rust. It's been right at 96 hours or four days since we began this test, so I'm really excited to pull out this wrench and the bolt to see how they look. Wow, that's actually looking pretty nice compared to what it looked like when we started. The bolt that was soaking in Evaporust actually looks a little bit cleaner than the bolt that's gone through electrolysis, but when you take a close look at both, there really doesn't seem to be all that much more rust on the bolt that's gone through the electrolysis. In the past 24 hours, electrolysis has really helped this wrench continue to make progress. I have to admit, I've never used electrolysis before, but it really seems to work well. So I used this copper brush to scrub down the wrench, and all I can say is, wow, electrolysis did a great job. This wrench looks incredible. So with a little bit of effort and a little bit of seafoam deep creep, I was able to get this wrench unseized as well, and now it moves freely. The wrench started off at 448 grams, it now weighs 442 grams, a loss of six grams. The bolt that went through electrolysis now weighs 77 grams. The bolt that was soaked in evaporust also weighs 77 grams. This is the sacrificial piece of metal we use during the electrolysis process, and as you can see, there's a lot of rust that's accumulated on it. So which process is better, electrolysis or evaporust? I really think it depends on what you're trying to do. If you have something that's really large, finding a big open pool or a big open container to use electrolysis is definitely gonna be your best route because evaporust is pretty expensive as a product. However, if you have something that's small, I really like evaporust quite a bit. Either way, I am extremely impressed with both processes. The wrench looks really good. Regarding the lug nuts, I wasn't able to get either one of those loose by hand. I had to end up using a wrench for both of them. There's just a little bit too much rust in the threads to get the nut to begin moving. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with this video. You guys recommend it, so thank you very much. Please keep those recommendations coming, and I'll keep making videos. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.